Hello guys, welcome to Chess and Checkers Games YouTube channel. My name is Damian Reszka, I'm four time Polish champion in international checkers and for over a decade I am a checkers coach and tonight I'm gonna surprise you, we're gonna play some checkers. At first let me introduce you the best checkers app in the market, made in Poland by Chess and Checkers Company. The Checkers Online has been downloaded already over 100 million times from Google Play Store and App Store on iOS. It's amazing how many people recognize Checkers or just wanted to try themselves how to play and how good are they in checkers sport, the beautiful mind sport that of course I'm gonna try to learn to teach you how to play and to develop your skills. And perhaps maybe in the further times there will be a possibility of playing against the best players in the world with the checkers online app. Who knows? Now we are in the main menu of the game. We'll be playing on my Phone, Android phone and in, as you can see in the main menu we can collect the free gift with two energies and of course I will take it because energy is necessary to find my another opponent and we will choose the game online and change the rules not from Polish but the English rules. Okay let's try to find the opponent but not in the weaker group in the stronger group the queen. Okay, let's search for some opponent. It's interesting what nationality of my opponent will be because there's also a rating, a rating of your nationalities. You play for your country. And Poland has been, as I remember, fourth in the rating with the Brazil uh, in the first place. And this time, who will be our opponent? Our opponent is from United States and in Czechos, of course, they are on the first position, so it will be a big challenge for me, as I am not that well experienced in checkers. But I will try the same strategies and tactics that I use in the international checkers, which are also called drafts. I am wondering if you know the word or if you heard about drafts even before, let me know in the comment section below. About the rules, it's really important that you can't take backwards in American checkers. You can only take forward. And now maybe I will give my pass, my opponent uh, the possibility of choose how to take, but I don't feel that it was a good move because right now maybe there is a possibility of little tactical way of gaining pieces of mine. Don't be afraid to give a pieces away because after you give the piece then you can collect more. If you gain pieces with sacrifices, your, sacrificing yours then you make a combination which is the tactics and tactics, using tactics is the most efficient and the fastest way of winning checkers. Of course there is no need of taking the majority because now my opponent had two possibilities of taking one piece or taking two pieces and he chose to take only one it's his choice i won't i will not comment it maybe maybe in my opinion it would be better for him to take um, two pieces because now after this exchange i can give away one piece and take two pieces and still they ca he can attack the, mm, the piece, the checker that will be uh, the farthest from outside other and it is easy to take because now it can be easily attacked. But maybe, of course, of course maybe, it will give me some possibilities of attack the wing because the one of the mm, easiest way, ways of winning in checkers and in drafts also, is to attack the wing, to break through the pieces of opponent and to gain a king. In this situation you can see that most of checkers of my opponent are to the right from my side and only one piece defending the wing to the left, to the left is not enough to stop me and I think I will take this piece away 
and I will get to the king. And with this situation, I will have a big chances to win over my opponent, who is from United States. Remember that uh, the checkers is the most important game version of checkers and drafts in America and United States, and also in England and Great Britain. So I think the opponents from this country are the best. As you could see in the ratings of the nationalities, US and A are on the first place. But now I have big chances to beat my opponent. I hope that the rating of my nationality of Poland will improve after this game. Okay, and there is one checker more for me. And now, another time, my opponent attacked my piece. So it means that I know the next step of him. I can use it. Because if you know what is the next move of your opponent, you can prepare some ambush for him. And now I will play <clears throat> that move that you can see. Now he takes one piece, but for this one piece I take two pieces. And now I have two pieces more and my chances to win even grow. What he can do right now? I think that he will give up soon because... There are not many possibilities of continue this game. Okay, maybe I will just play here because he cannot take backwards and of course, of course I cannot take backwards. But if he moves with his base pieces, base pieces are those pieces who, which are standing in the first line of the game. And if you have more pieces, more checkers, the easiest tactic strategy to win is to exchange pieces because right now there are only two checkers of my opponent and uh, four pieces of mine and now he will try to get to the king once he will attack my piece and the question is if i am if i will be able to stop him before he's going to the king but i think not but right now the king to the right stops the last piece of him and i can use my other pieces and other king that i will make in next move to just block the last piece that will be a king in next two moves okay there is only a possibility of making a king for him and now i would like to go as close as i can to his king because right now he has only two possibilities to go back to the right or to the left and now as he is in the corner i have i have a chance to surround and block uh, his his king but to do the, that i need just a second king because one king is not enough in this case. Um, if it would be closer, for example, to the right side, if he goes to the right side, then the game would be over. But right now is the only possibility of going to two squares, backwards and forwards from the place he is already right now. And when I make another king, I have to just move this king to the last standing king of his. Mm, he can't go to the right, he has to go backwards, and now it will be easy for me just to block the last king and win the game. Do it that way. Okay. You know what? I do not know yet all the finishing moves, <coughs> but in this case, maybe to be faster, because it's possible to win two kings over one king, but I don't know how to do it, and maybe I will just prepare the next king and go to block him with three kings. I still have to study a lot. I've already bought five checkers books because the checkers rules 
are not so well known in Poland and the Czechs are the future drafts I know because of the money that comes and the possibilities that comes with this beautiful mind sports game so I will be improving my game and also I believe that your game will improve and now we just lock the king I think that it could be possible with the with two kings but i promise you that in the next stream i will be able to win it with just two kings over against one king so let's take a look for another opponent this first game was against an american with the first in the rating so i hope the poland grows in the ratings and let's check who will be our opponent this time the algorithm of finding the opponents are uh, trying to find the best opponent for you so you won't face the players that are um, much ahead from you and also not the players that will be extremely weak and we are playing with someone from india and this time my um, indian guy starts um, okay he started with a central move so maybe as I in the previous previous game I started with mm, the central game maybe now I will try to do something backwards <clears throat> what are the tactics what are the possibilities I'm really interested normally in drafts in the international checkers mm, there could be a possibility of give one piece to the right and then collect two pieces and win the game probably and here i do not even know if this piece standing such far is a good one or is not a good one so maybe i will try something interesting like this because i just love being interested uh, with the position um, especially when i do not know if the position is um, possible to win or not Mm, there maybe could be some tactical solutions uh, with letting uh, my opponent to the king because king had, would have to take backwards and maybe that would be interesting in this case i just do not know okay so what can i do now maybe maybe this will work okay, maybe let's it okay but after this move he has he has the possibility of attack me i do not want to be attacked so mm, this move maybe will be interesting it will give us a cur curious game about checkers and drafts if you want to beat your opponent don't be afraid of playing mm, sharp positions with many possibilities of attacks etc etc because after all it gives you nice chances chances to win the game now I, my opponent would be mm, satisfied with attacking on the main diagonal because my forward piece to the right is now put in danger but um, there was a little a surprise for my opponent if he chose to do this attack and now still after attacking this piece i will have a small tactic because now he takes one piece and i will give him another piece just to take two pieces to the king but it will not be easy to activate the king right now and i think that position is quite quite equal okay let's go here Okay, then he will try to give a piece away, so maybe it will be better for me to catch him some other way. Okay, I'll go here. Once the possibilities of his king are limited, but we have another tough game, after all, I have to say you that. We can attack the pieces from behind with the king and it is the really good way of playing checkers. 
this first piece can be attacked and now he can go forward with this piece and I can take another attack with attacking two pieces. Two front pieces of my opponent and one will be lost. I hope that in this situation also the position of his king is so difficult that the king could not and will not escape and I will just take it. Okay, one piece more for me. He cannot move the king, which is good for me. And now the question is, that's right, to um, shut the possibilities of this last piece on the right side. Okay, he attacks now and if it is good for me to make a change or not. Honestly, I do not know. But there are some possibilities of okay, attacking his king. Now his king is being attacked. And what can I do? Maybe I will get interested in getting more kings for myself. Because there are also chances to make a shot, a combination. If he goes with his last base pieces. Remember that the base pieces are the pieces that stand in the first line of your board. After all, the board is a really interesting um, battle arena because it's made as a combination of eight um, vertical piles and eight horizontal lines. Do my opponent, does my opponent have right now the plan of going to the king. I think not. Okay, another king is prepared to attack. Now I wonder if I should make other kings or just to move back this one and try to put it into the game. Of course, of course the game is now on the right side of things. Um, on the chessboard, checkers board also, because this is almost the same board, you have two wings, left wing and the right wing. As in the chess, you can name it the king side uh, wing and the queen side wing. Then in the drafts or checkers, you have the um, wings that are short wing and long wing. And one is short, one is long, but it's quite complicated as um, you probably mostly are beginners and I will not be interested in explaining you that because there will be time in developing our checker skill to explain that and to remember which wing is uh, which, which is um, long and which is short. And now try to find the continuation to win this game. As you can see and use as you can remember, an opponent um, every time has one minute for picking up the move, for making the move, and uh, then you have to decide because otherwise when your time runs out, you lose the game. The time is, a, is an important um, part of the game, so you can't lose on time. You have to make a decision, you have to make a move before the time runs out. Maybe let's do something like trying to attack the pieces of my opponent. Okay, I will try to attack it that way. Maybe exchange something, I don't know. Okay. Okay, and now I think that after another move, yes, the possibilities of my opponent are quite, quite limited. What he can do right now? What he can do right now? Mm -hmm. That is a chance to try to go to the king. But once he will get to the king, maybe I will do it that way. And if he goes with the piece, that's right, I go. I will go here. And now, I guess that one king will be destroyed. Sorry for this messenger pop-ups. Mm, of course, I will, I, will, I will leave it away. Oh, I forgot that I cannot take backwards. My mistake. 
Okay, so it makes things more difficult now. The game with many kings. I guess that once you are the beginner at checkers, it is possible to have many games like this with multiple kings on both sides. You will probably try to go further with the with another pieces, but after all, I will have four kings and he will have two, three kings and I will try to exchange some kings uh, and try to get advantage that way now it's time for making the kings and after making all the kings there will be a time of um, bringing closer those kings to each other Mm, and that will be the moment that the game will decide. Okay, I will play here. Now I'm really good with changing king for king, because if I change three kings, then only two trackers, two pieces of my opponents of my opponent will stay mm, on the board, and that will be a really comfortable situation for me. So I'm good with making exchanges. Okay, four kings are prepared, and let's move them closer to my uh, opponent. Let's make this happen. And I'll, of course, maybe um, also try to learn how to win um, this situation when these two kings against one, because with a big possibility, we will have similar situa situation in this game. What to do, what to play right now, does bring the kings closer. We are streaming already for 22 minutes, so please don't hesitate to leave the thumb up and to subscribe the channel. There will be a lot of many interesting content on this channel, including the possibilities of playing against the best checkers players in the world and also winning some money prizes. So, you know what to do. Just follow us and try to develop your drafts checker skills already, because believe me, it will pay you back in the future. And right now I built a strong formation with my kings. You can see on the main diagonal, which is the longest diagonal on the board, three kings in a row, one after another. We call it a column. The column of three pieces in a row gives a possibility of making a combination or exchanges like this, which means tactics. You give away one piece, you collect another piece. Now we made an uh, exchange of the first king of opponent, and now I will try to move so we could make other exchanges of those opponents kings there is no situation five against four of course i will not be satisfied with drawing this game so i bring closer and closer my kings three kings against two kings is the winning position so we have to just use it bring bring them closer and closer just cover the possibilities the the, the 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 move of movement of my opponent's kings okay we are closer and closer right now okay this one is attacked so we have to go away but the possibilities of exchanges i grows like right now okay let just shut another side block my opponent if he goes in the middle then i will go away with the uh, king that is closer to my pieces and exchange another one maybe now i can play here It's interesting if my opponent is interested in exchanging uh, kings, maybe after many moves that will be done only with the kings, there will be a draw in this game, but I prefer not to draw this game at all.
How I can exchange my opponent's king? At least one, and then we will take care about the second one. Okay, I gave me possibility of going here, but I still don't know if it helps me or not with those exchanges. You can always wait for your opponent's mistake because that's the way of winning. The mind sports and all the sports, to be honest, are the sports of making mistakes. So less mistakes you make, better chances to win you have. And what to do right now, my friend? Guess that you have to escape with your king right here, that's right. I will go away. Now I guess I'm starting to be satisfied with my position. Okay, and now I will attack here. And if he moves away with the central king, then I have an exchange. Okay, I exchange that. Oh shit. And now with less, with one king less on the board, let's just try to stop the last king that he has. How to do that? It has to be possible. Because it has to be possible. Now he can move in two directions. And let's try to block him with all these possibilities to cut off the last king with my two kings. I have to know how to win it. I have to figure it out. There are for sure many possibilities written down in the books. The books that I haven't studied yet. But I will study, I promise you, and then all the knowledge I collected, I gained, I will transport to you, my friends, my dear streamers. So believe me, it's my promise, I will be one of the best checkers players in the world, because I have many experience in playing drafts. So I think I can use it. And right now he is in the similar position that he was in the previous game. And how to block those this one last king? If you know what is the solution, if I would be online, then I would ask you to write down on the chat how to make it. But right now I have to figure it, figure out this by myself. Mm -hmm. All right, I have to escape. Let's make it that way. Now he has, of course, one place to go. How to block him and how to win it? Try to block him this way. If one minute to find a solution, then I can make a move and I will have another minute. But I think the two kings against one is the winning position. But how to do it? Please help. Please help. Let's try to learn this with me at this moment. He's spending most of his time. If I could somehow trap him into an exchange, but I don't know how to do that. Does he know how to win it? Oh, I guess I know. Let's do it that way. He has to go to the edge. I think I know, I think I know. I think I know. I have a I have an idea how to move him away from this two edge in the squares of the board. Okay. But the question is if he will spend that much time on thinking. Here, 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 here. here. Hmm. Okay, so I guess that I just have to move him away. 
Okay, let's do it that way. I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's spending most of the time for the move by with having only one possibilities of, of moving forward or backwards with the king just not to be sacrificed just for the king not to be sacrificed and what he is thinking about he just wants me uh, not to be patient at all maybe he knows that it is losing position and he just wants me to leave the game find another opponent and to let him win in that way maybe this is the possibility it's a beauty of the online gaming that an opponent from the other side of the world in this example from india can be my opponent in the game once again sorry for the pops up, pop ups two seconds away no play okay he played This is my idea. Now he will attack my king, of course he has to, and I will block him. Then he will come back and I will go to the edge. So he has to move away with the king. And from this corner, once he will be out, in another corner, so I believe it will be much easier to win against the king. I wonder if it is possible to close him uh, on this wing, but I don't think it's possible. I think that I would figure it out, but if it is possible and I can't imagine how to do it, then it would be real strange um, in the future for me that I didn't know how to win this. I guess it's the only way. Okay, now I block. You have to go back. He is really patient, guy. To wait so long till the last seconds of the move to make it and just to make this game last longer and longer. But I am also a patient guy, and in this case, if I have the possibility of winning it, I will not give it away. I will try to use it. Because remember, the only way to be the best is to play to the end of the game because many opponents will make mistakes in the final part of the game. You have to play well the end games. After all the end games, the last moves of the game, decide on who is winning the game. And if you would like to be winners, if you would like to win the championship that will be played in the Checkers, chess, in the checkers Online app, then you have to play to the end and try to win till the end. And still, in last second, my opponent is making the move. But it's not a pity. After all, I have more time to discuss with you about this game. Maybe I think even the sacrificing no, no. sacrificing a king would not be a possibility. Because the opposition, opposition, which means that in the vertical file there are two pieces mm, in front of each other and the one that is on the move loses. And this is the situation that I would like uh, to happen with our kings, the opposition. It can be, of course, vertical, but it can be also horizontal. And in this case, I have more chances for the horizontal no, the chances are the same for the vertical and horizontal opposition. If your king of your if your opponent's king have uh, has to move, then obviously it's good to be not to be on the move when you have the opposition. And you, if you have two kings, then of course in the opposition when opposition happens, then you can move with the another king and the first king will be captured. Now, my dear friend, you have only one possibility of moving away and this corner is already closed. And he has to go backwards and I will go backwards with my central king. And I think that we are home already. And I think that in the next two moves I win. And finally, I found it. Finally, I have counted it all. 
and I'm 100% sure that this is winning position for me and I know how to do it. Oof! There's a lot to learn about checkers still, but the beauty of the game for me, once I will learn the other version, the other rules of the game, um, will be discovered once again. Now, as you can see, my central king is in the same vertical pile as my opponent's king. And now, once he, once I moved him from the left wing where there was uh, there was a possibility of running away, now I will use this opposition and my central king will stand in the front of the king, of his king. And now he has to go to the right with the king and I will go with my central king to the right to stand in front of him and to make this opposition. And no matter where he goes, he has to go backwards because other, otherwise his last king would be captured, I will just move the king that way that his last move will be giving away the king. I hope that you will see it in seconds and the game will be won for me. And after all, we will beat during this stream the player from United States of America and the nationality that is first in the ratings of Checkers Gaming and uh, secondly, we will beat India players. I don't remember what was the rating of uh, this nationality, but I guess they were fourth or third even. So it's still good for Poland that is on 18th place. And come on, guy, 40 seconds still to go. And I know that he will use all of this time. Mm, and But no matter where he goes, he loses. Just cannot cannot stop me and I'm really glad and satisfied with the way how I play this end game because technically it was quite kind of difficult and I do not know it from the book so I have to calculate it I have to invent how to um, capture opponents kings and he had let me remind you three kings that I ch exchanged one after another and when um, there was only one king left on the board finally uh, we made it to the position that is winning and right now as you can see there is an opposition of the kings one in front of another this game will be the last game that i play on this uh, stream so i really do hope you enjoyed the games the time that we spent together the explanations of the game and i hope that we will spend much more time on it so don't forget to leave the thumb up to subscribe the channel and um, you can follow follow our social media that um, are flashing on the left side of the stream the facebook uh, fan page the Instagram account and also of course the YouTube channel where you can find medias related connected to checkers and drafts and also you can sometimes see some live events um, all people live uh, checkers sportsmen draft sportsmen that are playing this beautiful mind game and I don't know if my opponent will be giving away the pieces one after another that's right so still one move more and one minute more because the piece to the right is blocked and if the pieces cannot move then the game is lost and of course you win. Um, I would like to explain the rules of the game as the winner is the guy who can still move and the guy who can't move of course loses the game and as you can see the second victory on our account is already a fact. I will collect the rewards and my uh, bank accounts of coins in the app grow to um, 2090. Thank you very, very much for this um, time. If you enjoyed and you still don't have um, the app of Checkers Gaming, Checkers uh, Online, download it from the Google Play or App Store and maybe on the next stream we will find each other and face each other. So from this time, good luck, work on drafts, work on checkers, and see you on the next stream. Goodbye!